All right, so now that we've gotten to the point where our player is a universally findable node, we're going to actually be doing something a little bit different here and making it so that the enemies can move at our player at a certain speed. So let's go ahead and make that happen. So we're going to open up the test shooting script, aka the enemy script. And one thing that I did wrong here, I think normally people actually don't do this underscore before things that aren't auto-generated before Godot. I'm not 100% sure, but either way, I don't like it. So if you highlight all of that and you push Control R, you'll get this little thing over here to say that you can replace stuff. You put down what you want it to be instead of that, and you push replace all. You'll see all of them get replaced all in one movement, like that, and we're all set now. Okay, so I think that looks a little bit nicer. I don't like the whole having an underscores first thing. I think that's only for Godot methods. I'm not 100% sure, though. I get confused by their naming. I come from, like, a very C background, you know? I used Unity before this, so we used C Sharp, and we did not use naming conventions like this at all. So we want the enemy to be able to move at our player, and we want it to happen within the physics system. So if we go ahead and make funk physics process, the delta there, we can start to program inside of here, and we basically just want him to move at a certain speed. So we're going to make a new variable. Actually, now that you know about constants, let's go ahead and make the constants, and for some reason the naming convention with constants is all capitalized. That's pretty much universal. We'll make it so that they move somewhat slowly at us, so about 50. That looks good. So we can say dir equals get dir player first here, and then we simply want to move this object, move, and, and are we a kinematic body 2D? I forget. We're a static body 2D as that, so that's not actually okay. We need him to be able to move, and he's a static body right now, so let's get rid of these three enemies right here, and let's actually go on to the enemy, and let's actually change his type. If we want him to move, he can't be a kinematic body 2D, and we built him off the simple our collidable body right there, our static body originally. So we're going to actually right click on enemy, we're going to hit change type underneath him. We're going to write kinematic body, and we want kinematic body 2D because it's a 2D object. And now he is going to be a kinematic body 2D, but we need to go up to the script here because it's right now extending static body 2D. We're going to write kinematic body 2D on there instead, right? So now we're going to scroll down, we're going to go to back to where it says physics process, we're going to say move and slide, and we're going to have access to that now. We're going to move in the direction of the player, and then we are going to multiply that by our speed constant. And then if we hit the play button, you'll see that he is now moving at us at a certain speed. All right, so now that we have it so that the enemy can chase after us, let's test it out by creating multiple enemies. So we'll select the enemy, push Control D, and move him over. I just moved his uh, collision shape over instead. So we're going to actually select the enemy, hit these two squares, and then we're going to actually go Control D. Then we can just drag it over, Control D, and drag it over. And then let's see what happens. So now they are all chasing after us. They are shooting, and that's pretty solid, I think. So just like that, we've created some enemy movement, but it's still pretty ugly, so we want to eventually create some enemy art here, and I think we're going to do that inside the next video. So if you liked this video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. You know the drill, guys. Thanks for so much for hanging out with me and spending this time with me. Have a great day.